Howdy folks, it's Nito with AP 2020 Outdoors Adventures. This is uh, phase two. I've got my Walther P22, 22 semi-automatic pistol. I have the Mantis X training system mounted. Notice I have it mounted backwards. That's okay. I'll go ahead and I'll take some shots here and we'll cover some topics that I uh, did not cover yesterday. So let me get my second video camera rolling here. All right, here we go. Ninety-three point three, eighty-nine point five, ninety-seven point seven. Great shot. Ninety-five point nine, ninety-eight. All right, pretty good there. All right, so a couple things I want to cover with the Mantis X smartphone app. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, I'm going to go ahead and stop it. And then we'll go ahead and uh, actually go through some of the menu settings. So here you can see I selected the Walther Arms P22 right hand shooter pistol dry fire detection. Notice I have it set as backwards. On my uh, particular pistol, because the Picatinny rail only had one slot, if I tried to mount it forward, I would not clear the front of the trigger guard. So that's an awesome feature of the Mantis X, just in case you're shooting a, a, a pretty subcompact pistol. History. And here you see that I had 12 shots. We'll go ahead and uh, go through. I got an average of 93.3. You can see where my shot dis uh, dispersal was at. I had 50% from about oh, 2 o'clock to, let's say, 7 o'clock. I had 13% between 12 and one, uh, 2 o'clock, and then 25% between 9 and 12. One thing you have to understand is that at first I was kind of confused, but then I realized that your aiming point okay, is going to be typically 6 o'clock. And then, just because your shots are dispersed in this bigger diameter circle does not mean that you're missing, you know, that far away. These are just telling you approximately where you are at dead center. So what I have found is that, okay, so the yellow is trigger press movement and the green is a hold movement. The closer you can get these rectangles to line up and not deviate from the zero, zero line, meaning this horizontal line, the better off your shot is going to trip. In fact, if we can start scrolling through some of the shots, for instance, this shot, I had a score of 96.2. It's my initial uh, uh, pistol being brought to bear on the target. You can see how well I controlled the trigger pull and then when the trigger broke, that shot one, shot two, shot three, Shot four, shot five, shot six. We'll go through again. Look at shot six. That's just about dead nuts perfect. Had the, uh, and it's interesting if you notice that I come, I, when I bring my pistol to bear on sights, I, I typically come from the right hand side. And then you can see the green is um, actually as I'm starting to come down on the trigger squeeze. That, so that was a shot score of uh, 98. Let me go ahead and zoom out a little bit. There's a shot score of 98. We'll go back to 5. Shot score of 95.9. 4, 97.7. So 3, 89.5. 2, 93.3. 1, 96.2. So another cool feature of the Manus X app is that they have a learn for all you beginners out there. If your shots are falling, let's say in this region, you're breaking the wrist up. For example, in this region, you're breaking the wrist down. That's typically if you're anticipating, uh, uh, that's that flinch I talked about yesterday. So it's pretty awesome. They uh, typically show you know, if your shots are hitting to the right, you've got too much trigger finger. To the left, you have too little trigger finger. You know, I, I, I spoke about how critical it is to have the trigger finger index 
on the on the me part pad of your uh, finger right there there's my history so I had 12 shots two sessions average 93.3 last 10 93.3 So their session zero had a 91.5. And then session one, I had a 95.1. So I improved on my second session. Another thing I discovered on the Amandus X smartphone app, at least from my Android device, I had to turn on the location settings uh, before I could successfully connect to the Mantis X training system. You just hold that down to turn it off. Once again, I highly recommend that you purchase this Mantis X training system. You know, uh, it will identify any shooting flaws that you have acquired over time, hopefully none. You know, it's uh, it, in my mind, it's pretty revolutionary. You know, I'm an electrical engineer by trade, and without getting into too much detail, I'm sure they've got some type of accelerometers here in the X, Y, maybe the Z plane, obviously to track the motion of the device. Regardless, this is a pretty cool tool for all you shooting aficionados out there. This Nita with AP2020 Outdoors Adventures. Hope you all enjoyed the video. Remember, shoot straight and shoot safe.